We got roaches. I'm gonna have to lay out a few traps. I'll heat up the pan. Welcome to Hat and Mouth. Really excited for today. Our downstairs neighbor Julio is having a party. It's Richard, assholes, and you're not invited. Did you hear that? We're all invited. Such a nice guy, that Julio. Fuck you guys. Anyway, we all know you don't show up to a party empty-handed, so we're bringing some tequila. At least, we think it's tequila. We found it in the back of the fridge, and it smells kind of alcoholic. Tequila is Spanish for technically alcohol, so... Also, we're making guacamole, so uh, let's get our ingredients together. So we just need two avocados, a chopped onion, tomato, garlic, lime juice, salt, and pepper. And instead of a bottle of lime juice, just get a lime and squeeze it out yourself. Save yourself a couple of bucks, plus you can use the pulp for other recipes. As for the salt and pepper, that's the kind of thing you should always have in your kitchen. But if you don't, your neighbor probably does. I said, your neighbor probably does. I think he's ignoring us. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to take a long trip to the little boy's room. There we go. You're the reason your father left. Now we just need our avocados. <gasps> Garden? Garden. Hey, Garden, what you reading? Sart, uh, I'm getting a head start on the required reading for my philosophy degree. That's cool. Can we dig through your hair for vegetables? Yeah! Oh, cool! Two avocados! That's a good fruit right there. Uh, uh, lots of diverse fats, potassium, ton of B vitamins. Uh, led to the great avocado price flight of 2011. Oh yeah, I remember that. Avocado prices skyrocketed for a bit. You had to spend four or five bucks just to get one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, Things have calmed down a bit, but uh, people have to find some alternatives. Like what? Well, Peas is an option, or, or broccoli if you cook it and then chill it. Ooh, I like broccoli. No, not in guacamole. Oh, don't be a baby. All right, fine, but it stays on your side of the kitchen. Well, bye, I guess. So the first step to guac is taking your vegetable and making it into mush. So peel and mash your avocados in a bowl. The broccoli option takes a little more work. You're going to need a blender. That's a blender? Crazy lady at Goodwill said it was a blender. Lady who says everything's a blender? That's the one. So, throw in your broccoli and hit your ring. Now stir in the rest of the ingredients. Thank you. Now you're gonna wanna adjust the amount of salt and pepper. And once you've done that, taste so that you can... What, I'm weeding out the week. Anyway, once you have it tasting like you want, chill for about 30 minutes. And editing power, activate! And really, that's all there is to it. But you don't want to be some lame yank, do ya? Spice that guac up. I added some jalapenos and a touch of hot sauce to make a guacamole with some real kick for men and women with rough edges. Yeah, once you've made a basic guac, you can flavor it to your preference. Experiment, find something cool. Julio, we made delicious guac. Are we still not invited to your party? We also have suspicious backfresh tequila. Fine. Bring the tequila, stay for five minutes, then get the fuck out. You're such a good friend with a really soft couch that I am totally going to pass out on. Damn it! I'm calling the bed. I hope you both fall down the stairs! Hey Super Pals, hope you enjoyed this special edition of Hand to Mouth made especially for you by Mark Franklin Williams. Mm -hmm. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the theater today for more comedy classics from James Ashby, that's me, mm -hmm. Mark Franklin Williams, John Brent, J.P. Nickel, Zach Wiener, and Jason Axon. Click the button to subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out the Broke Eats channel. You know what you're going to get there? You're going to get an extended edition of the guacamole episode so you can get some expert tips. But first subscribe. Sub Don't leave until you subscribe. Subscribe first. Please? Do it. Please? Do it now. My life has no meaning if you don't. I can sense that you're doing it. Ooh.